1987, the Ontario Federation of Labour, under the leadership of President Gord Wilson and his executive, faced down a tide of global restructuring that would wash through the manufacturing sector. The Conservative government of Prime Minister Brian Mulroney had just been re-elected on a platform for free trade with the United States. There was a massive threat of job loss, and family and communities were suffering. In Ontario, Liberal Premier David Peterson had vowed to stop the deal, but he failed. Labour was ready. Well, Mr. Premier, what are you going to do to protect workers who are facing permanent layoff from downsizing or from plant closures? It was your Employment Standards Act, Mr. Premier, that allowed Massey Combines to close its Brantford operation and leave retired workers without any security to continue their medical benefits. Mr. Premier, if you do not legislate security for workers, then they will have no choice but to hold on to the factories that are trying to discard them. By the mid-90s, the push for free trade had expanded to Mexico, and Labour's struggle for unity became more international and multilingual. In 1995, the OFL invited African-American civil rights leader Reverend Jesse Jackson to address the convention. His calls for unity showed delegates that the tremendous power and influence of Ontario workers could change lives well beyond our borders. We must have a, a hemispheric view. Cheap labor or slave labor anywhere is a threat to organized labor everywhere. Whenever we meet, we must always involve our Mexican and Central American partners. But two-thirds of our hemisphere is Hispanic uh, and poor, and are learning to live together as workers. I look forward to the day there'll be a rainbow labor hemispheric conference where workers will unite and demand jobs and justice and health care. After eight years under free trade and following four years of Bob Ray's NDP government, the OFL now faced down a Tory enemy of unprecedented proportions. The Ontario government under Premier Mike Harris. The Harris government says its message is that Ontario is open for business, but labour unions say are promising unrest and slowdowns in the workplace and maybe even violence. You directly will be responsible for every person hurt on a picket line in this province. We've had the threat of the uh, strikes. Uh, fortunately, they have not yet happened, and so we really are dealing with a very hypothetical situation. I think such until such time as, as uh, we see some action, I certainly would reserve further comment. will not only have the ability to beat the hell out of you in a bargaining table, stop you from organizing further workers, but now we'll have absolute control of compensation and health and safety, and they will kill more workers in the province of Ontario. The only thing they understand is power. And our job is to take power from them and put it back in the hands of working people.